the um, guide to fishing New Zealand. New Zealand. Um, if you're from Europe, um, you know, and you're looking to go to somewhere, you know, for you know, two or three, four weeks while still at work for a holiday, um, be surprised that it's actually, okay, apart from a long, long flight, it's actually really worth going to um, a place like New Zealand. I'll tell you why. Um, because I fish there. Um, this is the South Island, this is the North Island. Let's start with the, um, the North Island. Good spots for live baiting for kingfish are this place here, Cape Rianga. Right. And this point here. You park your car park here, you walk your way down. You can only get down there at low tide and you live bait off the end here. You catch these fish called um, car wine, you, li you live bait them up on a balloon and you chuck them out. You get kingfish off there up to 30 pounds. Um, get, them on, get them on spinners as well. Um, um, and by the time you've done all that for a day, you're absolutely exhausted. Um, and there is uh, another spot, if you follow this track, here and down from my cursor, Sandy Bay, and you can get to these rocks here, and you can fish um, pilchard dead baits. Well, just ordinary beach fishing gear um, off this point here for a snapper. You catch some big snapper there. So that's just one spot, and that's probably some of the best fishing in New Zealand there for those two species. Um, another good spot. There's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of good spots. This area here, but it's a long walk. It's called, um, um, what's it called, Van Diemen Point or something, Maria Van Diemen or, or something like that. But it's, it's too difficult to get to. But if you're young and extreme, no doubt you'll get there. Um, so anyway, let's just move back a little bit. And there's a little village called Tihapua there. There's a little wharf off the end there, which is quite good, which is just here. If you can see, it's just coming into view there. Catch um, garfish there, or piper, and snapper, and kingfish, John Dory, all that sort of stuff. And there's another really good wharf um, at this area here, I think. So you follow this road round. Is it there? No, I'm getting confused with someone else. Come on, where is it? Is it this one? There it is. Poorer. This one here, this jetty here, is um, really good, and along here for kingfish. Kingfish turn up there at a certain point in the tide, and um, you can live bait for them. Catch John Dory's snapper and stuff like that. Carwai, nice place, beautiful part of the world, and and then we've got um, ninety mile beach, which is good for for snapper as well. Now. I, I'm not going to go into too much depth. There's literally really good fishing opportunities all over New Zealand. Um, I'm not going to go into them all, but as I go down, I'm just going to target one. But there's literally hundreds and hundreds of places where you can do really well. But I'm just going to point out there's one. Um, there's one here, and it's called. What's it called? In town here, there's a pier or something. I can't remember. There's a Monganeri, Mount Monganeri or something. This area here is quite good. And out in a boat as well. It's fantastic. Monganeri. Oh, here it is. No, this is the one. Manganeri. Manganeri. Here. Off this pier. It's very good. And obviously the boats as well. Going out in your boats and doing well as well. Um, and you've got... Um, the Bay of Islands, which is this area here near Kerry Kerry. This is very good boat fishing. And this is Cape Brett, and they catch marlin off this point. Off here. You can walk out there. It takes a day to walk out from the mainland. Oh, wrong way. So that's the North Island. There's I'm not going to go into any more. Um yeah, as you've got the fishing thingies on here, Port Jackson and Coromandel, these point areas here, really, really good. 
Coromandel. Right. And another good spot. Um, is here. This point here. I can't remember the name of the bloody thing. Can't remember the name. Cape Runaway. That point there. If you can get on that headland there and do live bait, and that's really good as well. Anyway, okay, so that's the boat fishing superb. Wellington. And around there. Um, the Marlborough Sounds. Marlborough Sounds is quite good, but it costs a lot in fuel. Um, obviously, Nelson Tasman Bay is pretty good. Um, and um, this area here is good for um, um, rig or smooth hand or elephant fish. And um, Dunedin is good for blue cod. Um, Omaru as well is pretty good for blue cod and apuka. And obviously, Fjordland, this area around here. There's charter boats which operate in this area here. Um, doubt, doubt, doubtful sound. Um, these fjords, the, these fjords in here. The fishing is that they get tuna and all sorts. Hapuka, blue cod, all sorts. And even this side, um, Port Jackson Bay. Port Jackson Bay is is um, is really good fishing as well. Really good fishing as well. West coast. Yeah, I mean, literally, um, you know, it's um, seriously extreme place to go to go fishing, and um, yeah, you you need longer than a couple of weeks. Um, how about a lifetime? And um, some of the places are really remote and barely fished. And, you know, the fishing is out of this world for lots of different species. You, know, you get marlin, swordfish, um, blue nose, hapuka, snapper, kingfish, um, you know, eagle rays, um, you name it, mate. It's just absolutely insane. It gets the, the, the tuna they catch off the West Coast. They get blue bluefin tuna and they get them... Right out at sea, where the um, the main fishing fleet go out for hoagie. So there we are, guys. That is um, New Zealand, and you know if you're gonna um, if you want to go somewhere different, an extreme fishing location, and you've got say two, three, four weeks, something like that, why not? You know, do the long flight. It's not that expensive. Get yourself out there, and um, you know you can experience something you know completely different, and it is um, you know. It's a, a wonderful place. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in, and um, no doubt I will be speaking with you soon. Okay.